Hello, my name is Katie Cornelius, and I'm so blessed to be sharing our January 2020 Mission Minute with you today. Since the age of three, I've attended this church and I've had the opportunity to watch as many ministries have developed, grown, and stirred up a passion in members of the congregation. For me, that passion was stirred up when I learned about the Anua Partners in Hope ministry. Anua Partners in Hope is a ministry of this church that supports orphaned and vulnerable youth living in Naivasha, Kenya. They do that by empowering these young people to transform their lives from a life of poverty and hopelessness to a life of hope and self-sustainability. Over the past two years, I got to live in Kenya for a total of six months and really develop close relationships with the 200 Inua youth there, one of which I'm happy to tell you about today. In the summer of 2017, it was my first day in Kenya and I met a precious young woman named Phoebe. Phoebe was shy and she didn't have much to say, but she had a small grin that lit up her face. Phoebe also had a young child, only four months old, who I loved to hold and snuggle every time we were together. One day, Phoebe and I were together and I was holding the precious child when I realized that the child was ill. The mentors and the staff were able to quickly receive medical care for the child, but months later, I received a message while I was back in the United States informing me that the child had passed away. All I could think about was the devastation Phoebe must be experiencing and my heart ached for her. I returned to Kenya the following year, looking forward to seeing Phoebe, seeing how she was doing, but what I actually found was that Phoebe wasn't in Naivasha at all. The staff explained that she was away and they weren't sure if she would return to graduate with the rest of the youth. That was such a moment of sadness and hopelessness for me, but it was a moment that God would later use as a transformative, transformative tool in my life. Fast forward to August 2019 and graduation day had arrived for the Inua youth. I traveled with the mission team to Naivasha, Kenya, and we had been visiting many youth homes and businesses to congratulate them on their transformation and their success. You can imagine my excitement and surprise when I learned that the business we were walking up to was owned and run by Phoebe. You know, Phoebe had experienced um, so many struggles throughout her life. She was an orphan as a child, she had many trials, and then she lost her own child, her own baby. But she persevered and she transformed her life. As I walked up to the business, the small cafe, it was full of members of the community that were there as her customers and small children asking for ndazi or donuts. I walked up and I was able to see in that moment a clear visible transformation. That young girl who sat with her shoulders slumped, her eyes down, and only a small, subtle grin on her face, now stood with her shoulders back, her head held high, speaking to everyone, and she had a huge smile spreading across her face and just shining love and light into the world. That exact moment is an impactful moment that I will always keep in my heart as an incredible example of God's transformative love. Phoebe and many youth like her have made such a transformative impact on my life through the Anua ministry. And I hope that you all will reach out to me to find out some more information about how Phoebe and other youth just like her can make an impact on your life as well. Thank you.